All right, so we're at the Diamond Head National Monument, and right behind Danny here on top of that hill is where we will end up after our hike. Um, Dana, how do you feel about all of it? You know, I'm actually really excited. I mean, I'm a little sore from this morning's practice, but it's going to be a good time going up and spending time with teammates, getting the tan on. It's going to be fun. Exactly. And Deanna, I, um, I heard after the last few practices you have a wrap. Would you like to share it with us? All right. Ready? I don't know if you guys can handle this. Okay. <laughs> Hey, yo, homie with the frown, why don't you listen up while I lay these beats down? Sometimes you swim, straight up swimming up and down the lane and you sing to yourself, man, I got a train. But hey, girls, look at your life. When they say go to Hawaii, they don't ask me twice. I'm grateful. Shoot, yeah, might be a put a smile on my face. Even when Clarky yelling, D, get on your pace. Hey, that's, that's great. right, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're walking. Our trek has begun and it's about 0.8 miles to the top. Here you have some history to share with us about Diamond Head. I'm not actually an expert, but uh, from what I've learned over Diamond Head is you're looking back into the crater and everything around you is the outside. You guys can go ahead and go. Oh, thanks. Um, but, you know, thousands of hundreds of thousands of years ago, it blew up and it created a lot of what's around the Wazoo, the island, because of all the lava flow. And this, this was what was left of the volcano. It all collapsed in because it blew up from all the pressure so it left a valley in here and when we get to the top you'll be able to see the whole crater but from the top you can see a lot of around the island and that stuff now one thing that's really neat about this too is there's a lot of unique birds and stuff that uh, take sanctuary here it's kind of a bird sanctuary you can see a lot of different kinds of species if you really pay attention and look around there's a lot of neat birds but uh, so right now we're looking back into the crater of the volcano. It all blew up this way and went out, and uh, we'll see it from the top. Thank you. There's pretty much the whole KU Swim and Dive team climbing up the mountain. This is pretty cool. And that's the other story behind this. All right, so we're almost to the top. About 80% of the way had to stop here and look at these beautiful sights. Eric, you have some more information for us? Just one thing I wanted to point out is that uh, when they first started inhabiting the islands uh, many, many years ago, uh, Diamond Head was used as a fortress, kind of a lookout for people coming from other places around us, whatever. And you'll see on the very top of the hills when we get up there that they have lookouts and bunkers for you know defensive purposes to keep and see if you know dangerous people were coming. So that's the other use of Diamond Head besides just for fun walking. We've made it to the top. This is one side of the fort. And this is the other side, more of a beach view. Hey Rebecca, so I heard this isn't your first trip to Hawaii, however it is your first trip to Diamond Head. After climbing to the top and seeing these sites, is it different from what you've seen in Hawaii previously? It is. It's like absolutely beautiful up here and you can see from miles. And it's really cool too because we're staying like in a hotel over there so we can see where the hotel is and see literally like you can see the ocean just for miles and miles and it's gorgeous.